Hi, this is Dan from Green Bay. I haven't seen too many reviews for the Passport 239SL, so I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I'm going to cover the outside first fairly quickly, and then we'll get into the inside. So we were attracted to this particular trailer because of the fact that it was uh, a 25-foot trailer, and it was lightweight. It is only about 4,400 pounds unloaded with the water tank full and the propane tanks on, so a pretty reasonable weight to tow. Um, I have made a couple of upgrades. I did put two golf cart batteries on, 6-volt batteries in series, just so that we would then have a little more power for boondocking. Um, I really was happy with the fact that first it comes with a power jack for the tongue, and the four stabilizers underneath are all power as well, which is not a huge deal, but kind of nice. It does come with a very large pass-through storage, which you can see I've not got full, but I've got quite a bit of stuff in, um, and you can fit a lot of things in. This is the uh, connection for fresh water and city water. Another reason we chose this trailer was largely because it has an enormous fresh water tank for boondocking or for a lot of parks that do not seem to have water connections. 42 gallons um, is adequate for me and my wife for about four days, three nights. And around this side, you can see the vent for the refrigerator, plug in for the electric 30 amp service. Um, I've got the tires covered, but it does have nice aluminum wheels. And down below, the sewer connections there as well. Comes with a spare tire, no bumper, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I think the graphics on it are pretty sharp overall. One of the things we really liked about this camper was that it comes with a back door that goes into the double bunk area. So you can store quite a bit of your things down here. Our dog also likes to sleep down here. This bunk actually flips up and locks into place. So if you had a bike that you wanted to put in here and you could take the front tire off, I think it would fit. I haven't tried that, however, yet. Water heater back here, both electric and gas. Nice size awning up top, outside kitchen, uh, outside kitchen with a nice dorm style refrigerator. It does have a pull out two burner quick connect gas stove as well. So that's kind of nice. Outdoor shower as well. And again, this is the passport. 239. It is an extended season camping, so it has forest air heated and enclosed underbelly, which we hope to use at some point pretty quick. And that's the other side of the pass-through as well. Two steps to get into the rig. Not the greatest steps, but they serve the purpose for now. And it's starting to rain here. Um, the screen door really separates easily, which is kind of nice. Um, so, nice window with the door, and a lot of the less expensive campers, you don't see that. Moving into the camper. So, one of the things that we really liked about this camper was the fact that it had a full-size queen bed, a 60 by 80, and it is a Murphy bed, and I'll show you how that comes down in a moment. Um, and then a couch, not, not a super comfy couch, but pretty nice. It's got some nice, nice sort of shelf little spot where you can put things, um, as well as two 110 outlets and two USB outlets, shirt closet, some space up above as well. Let's turn on a few more lights here. 
and it's got some lights that you can that turn on up above the bedroom area and obviously same thing on the other side this is kind of a small thing but not all the campers have it the exit window is nice because it opens and not all of them do um, and we really like having the cross ventilation with the window on the other side which i obviously have the drapes down here so i want to show you how the bed works here in just a minute um, i will set up the tripod and finish the recording here so the bed works pretty easily um, you just simply have to fold out the jackknife sofa which is very easy to do one person can do this obviously since i'm showing you that you unlatch the two uh, latches that lock the bed in place and we still actually have the bed made so you can see that you can keep the bed made during the day and it just folds down simply like that and then you've got a nice area uh, for sleeping and the other thing that I think is really nice and you know it's a small thing and you can certainly put these in but it's something nice to have uh, for separation is you can fully close off that area and it's got two lights on that side and the that are individually operated and then the lights for the main lights in the in the uh, camper um, are outside of that bedroom area which is kind of nice so that somebody can be sitting here at the table and they can then uh, you can then have somebody um, in bed and it's you know it's a little tricky to get up by yourself but I'm just going to show you it is very doable for one person my wife can do this by herself as well and then um, one of the other things that I really kind of like is the look of this kind of that farm board uh, material and it's got or I guess you would call it kind of those farm uh, house or farm board material that uh, kind of accents it. Um, getting the couch up is uh, not uh, a big deal either. You can pretty easily flip that up and you've got a nice place to sit. This camper doesn't have uh, a slide out, but when you've got the bed in, you've got uh, you know quite a bit of extra floor space, um, so that's really nice. The kitchen area is really uh, fantastic for this size of a trailer. Um, it does have a cutting board cover over the sink. It's got a stainless steel sink in it, uh, a stainless residential style faucet. Um, as well as a pull down for uh, spraying things off. So that's really outstanding, especially with this uh, size of a camper. Uh, the stove on it and oven is uh, really nice. It's got three burners. It does have a glass top on it that serves as a backsplash. And then this simply come, folds down when you're traveling and it does kind of snap into place nicely so it's not going to to move of course this is a gas um, cooktop as well as an oven that we have um, baked some brownies in and it was uh, worked pretty well the refrigerator isn't huge but it is pretty functional uh, it has reasonable amount of space a um, couple of pull out drawers and we really like that it has a separate door for the freezer and you don't have a freezer actually just inside. And then it's got kind of the standard uh, size uh, microwave that you find in a lot of campers. The cabinet space um, was really outstanding for this size. Um, things are jumbled up a little bit from our last travel, but you can fit a lot of uh, dishes in here and then down below it also has a very good deal of storage for pots and pans our 
our um, bins for washing dishes. And what's nice about it too for washing dishes and saving water is that two bins fit into this sink just perfectly, one for washing, one for rinsing. Um, so that's really kind of a nice deal for saving water, which is something that's, of course, always important if you are camping without hookups. And it does have two pull-out drawers. We've got our silverware, and then we've got our bigger utensils. And then you can see there's even a little bit more space down there as well. And then even under the stove, you've got some additional space um, that you can utilize um, for uh, storing more things. The other thing that we just think is fantastic is the amount of countertop space. You can put the top of the oven down and get some space to put things on. Um, you can put the cover over the sink, of course, for some space. But even without that, it's got a nice chunk of space and even, even some space down back behind the oven as well. And then it does have a flip out um, as well uh, that gives you a little bit more additional space. The dinette is very functional. It uh, folds down into a bed like you've seen in many campers. Um, a comfortable bed for, you know, maybe a 10, 12 year old uh, or a smaller adult. Um, it is a pretty comfortable dinette. Um, it has quite a bit of room um, for, well, I guess we'll just say it for uh, bigger people, for, for bellies. It has plenty of space. Some of the dinettes you see are, are very tight. Um, and this does fit for adults, um, unless, of course, they're very large adults. Um, it does have additional um, space up here, kind of an open area that's always a little messy. And then a lot of space uh, here for putting more dishes or whatever you need to use it for. Swing arm TV, I think it's a 24 inch television. And it's even got a cubby back there. We keep our DVD player um, back there. It is not a 12 volt TV, so if you don't have electric hookups, um, you can't really use it uh, unless you have a generator. So uh, some other features, um, it does have a radio here. Uh, the radio um, also has uh, an input for HDMI as well as a USB. Uh, it is Bluetooth. We actually Bluetooth it to the Amazon Fire Stick that we have in the back of the TV. And that makes the sound come out from the speakers um, back here, which is really handy because um, when you have the air conditioning on, which is very effective and it's got, um, it's got, it's not, you know, it's not ducted, but it does have um, vents that you can open up and kind of direct the air to. Um, so that is... Uh, that is pretty nice and it's got those on the side as well. So we found it pretty effective in, in hot temperatures for cooling the trailer down um, pretty effectively. But it's nice to have those speakers working so that um, you can hear the TV when you're playing things. Um, so the controls, main controls are up here. Uh, here's the house main house lights. Um, it does have... An outdoor, the middle one is an outdoor awning light, kind of a cool LED purplish color. And then indoor, it has kind of this mood lighting, which you can kind of see is underneath the bed, or I don't know what you would call it, night lighting, um, as well as over here. Um, I don't know if it's kind of in the bathroom, but it kind of guides your path to the bathroom, which is not a bad thing. Just finish up here on the uh, controls. Of course, just your typical controls, your fresh water, black water, gray tanks, battery as well. Um, and then it's got, uh, of course, a water pump um, when you're not hooked up to city water. And uh, it's got a switch for LP gas water heater or for electric. So if you have hookups, you can use the electric. If you don't, you have to use your LP gas to get hot water. It does have the double bunks, um, which might seem kind of silly to have for a couple, 
but we actually find it very handy. The top one we tend to use for our dirty clothes, uh, a bin for dirty clothes, and then we'll keep some pillows up here during the day. Um, sometimes we'll travel with our backpacks up here with our electronic devices and things like that. And actually the bottom one comes very comes in very, very handy um, because of the fact that uh, when the bed is uh, folded up during the day, this gives you a nice spot to go take a nap, um, which I use frequently. And this is sort of the little basement area where Chelsea, our Walker Coonhound, likes to hang out and sleep. Um, and then just kind of opposite there, you see that wall, that is the outside kitchen, the back wall of the outside kitchen. So to the left of the refrigerator, we have a very nice pantry. Uh, the pantry is a nice uh, wood pantry. Um, it's got four shelves in it, but you can move the shelves around. Um, it, you can see up top it's got a rack if you wanted to bring the shelves down and hang clothes there you could um, We use the bottom two shelves for linen the top two shelves for dry goods so that is um, an Outstanding spot you've got down below that you've got your breaker box and then underneath the refrigerator you have the furnace uh, the furnace is not ducted um, but it it does have uh, a vent there, and I guess it is ducted uh, just to one other spot. It's ducted over back by the bed on the other side, which is handy because it does distribute the heat a little bit better. Whoops. And uh, so that is good that you have that ability to duct the heat over to the bedding area. So on to, last but not least, the bathroom, which... I love having a bathroom. So it has a foot flush plastic toilet that seems to work pretty well. Um, the black tank is 35 gallons, so um, we uh, have had six people in here before and uh, using the toilet and uh, five days, and I don't think we were close to, to filling the black tank. Um, it does have as well, um, a, a nice uh, sink, um, although it is plastic, it's not a porcelain or anything. Get your light switch here, and it does have a medicine cabinet that opens as well, which is invaluable to have in a camper, especially of this size. And then down below, it does have a opening door, which you can see we keep our toilet paper on the door and then it gives you space for a little um, waste basket as well as uh, giving you space for some storage so that is nice um, I can actually I'm just about six foot three um, I can actually fit into the shower because it has a nice skylight that gives you a kind of a bump out and it's a nice sized one too so it's not just a real small skylight and uh, the shower we, we do use, um, of course you can't use it a lot um, because you have a limited amount of water. It gives you a little bit of a tub if you wanted to bathe a small child or perhaps an animal, um, a dog. I guess it would probably be a dog. Not too many other animals you'd want to bathe in your camper, in your, in your uh, tub. So we really have enjoyed this camper. We've had it out five times. We've had uh, six of us in here at a time. That was too many people, uh, a little crowded, but it's perfect for a couple. Uh, it's very functional. Um, the mattress on it is not super. Um, my wife doesn't think it's that great and it's, it's not awesome. We probably will add a, a memory foam top to it or something. But it is a nice sized bed, um, and uh, we paid about $20,000 for this camper, which uh, this has been a very um, big season for RV dealerships. 
and so uh, the prices were probably a little bit higher this year than uh, many, but we're very happy with our purchase. The only thing we've really had as far as things go wrong on it is, um, you know, we just had, you know, these cheap blinds that they have on uh, some of the windows, um, you know, don't work out a well, very well, especially back in the bunk area when you have kids back there. Those, we just took those down. Um, the uh, bathroom sink, one of the handles is leaking a little bit, but other than that, uh, quality wise, I've been pretty happy as you may or may not know. Um, travel trailers don't have the greatest reputation for having uh, great quality, but we've found this one to be pretty um, reasonable. I don't know if I mentioned it, but there is storage underneath the uh, dinette seats as well. Well, that's about what I have for you. Thanks for watching. Um, this is again the uh, Keystone Passport 239. Um, really, we're finding it to be a, a fantastic camper for us. I uh, hope you liked the video. This is really my first review uh, of anything. And um, I hope you learned a little bit about this camper. Have a great day.